keep pursuing like it's it's going to be tough but but i think sir it's possible my college is from 9 to 6 generally from monday to friday 9 to 6 so it was a very schedule like i need to wake up at at least 7 and be ready till 8 and then from 8 o'clock like one hour in travel it and then she even told me that see this is exergic and this is how they teach and this is how they plan so i said like how can you study online it was really? i said that i don't think exergic will be good first of all congratulations nihar for such a great rank in gate 2023 and let's Thank start you. with your background so sir uh, i am doing currently in my 8th semester in 4th year i am currently we be pursuing btech electromechanical engineering in my city and dawak so uh, i have been preparing for gate since last 2 years means uh, i appeared in 2022 and now in 2023 so in the previous year when i attempted i got around 2500 rank 2567 some rank in third year uh, yes in third year uh, which was like i was not satisfied like it was not a good rank to uh, get me where i wanted to go so sir, right. then i attempted this year fortunately along with the college so yes, fortunately yes. i got i wasn't expecting such a good very no, much no, definitely good. you should uh, you should be expecting because i'm sure you did uh, hard work in a directional way yes. so we'll talk about that yes. uh, first me uh, how did you know about gate sir uh, actually i appeared for jw advanced now okay. i could not score score good in that exam so i wanted there was a like a liking that i wanted to go to iits or some or so my like, at least my mtech or masters in some of the good reputed institutes in india right. so i searched on the net like where can i well, like how can i get into iit for mtech maybe so that it so that showed me that the gate was one of the way to get into iit so from there i came to know about gate and now what I, do you plan to pursue further after having a so grand i wish to to isc bangalore seniors wow so clear pursue. ekdam crystal clear yes sir institute yes. as well as course crystal clear computation and data science yes, yes. obviously it's a reputed yes. course of iisc bangalore so it's very good to see yes. honestly speaking that uh, being in fourth year not only you cracked gate but also you have a very clear vision of where you want to go so that is very important for students to know why are they trying to appear for a specific exam right that conviction increases when you yes, know sir. why you want to do something and obviously it reflects in the result as well uh, nihal generally it is uh, uh, you know when students are in college they are not able to plan things properly they are comparatively younger only so they are not able to plan things properly and managing gate preparation parallel to college definitely is uh, achievable uh, yes. you know a target so but they don't know how to do it so what tips would you give them how did you manage what was your time uh, schedule time table please tell about that so sir uh, like my college is from 9 to 6 generally from monday to friday 9 to 6 so it was a very schedule like i need to wake up at at least 7 and be ready till 8 and then from 8 o'clock like one hour in travel it so 8 to 9 was traveling and then again at when i like to get get out from college like 6 to 7 was traveling and 7 to 8 was like i get home and relax i eat food i eat dinner then then i started my preparation like from 8 to 12 the last uh, five years i get a uh, four to four to five hours i get like uh, 8 to 12 or 8 to 1 So it was yeah. four to five hours I get, and uh, I used to like my target was not based on hours, like not based on hours. Like I need to study at least five hours a day, or at least study like seven hours a week, something like that. It was based on like more of like uh, achieving number of problems. Like I need, uh, I knew my big subjects because I appeared in grade twenty twenty two. I knew my big subjects. I knew that topics which I was weak in. So my target was not based on like uh, time time based target. Like I need to study at least five hours for grade every day. It was based on like more like on problem solving. Like I need to at least solve. 200 problems of this topic from anywhere i can get no matter what like what from where i get those subjects where, from where i get those questions but i need to solve at least find it questions of this topic at least like the big topics specifically i know and to practice oh, more the uh, topics that which are which i am strong in which i have the strengths and it, i did not practice more like 100 problems in those topics is more than sufficient for me so my target was based on like number of problems solving based target so it helped me a lot now and the if like if there was any backlog in the uh, in the week i used to uh, resolve it in my weekends because i had right. off saturday and sunday was off yes. so i used to always clear my backlogs in those two days 
So in this way, sir, I prepared like for the last five to six months, I was doing continuously. This was my schedule every day. So in this way, sir, it helped and, me crack uh, it. College duration was uh, since uh, it's from uh, it was from nine to six, so it was almost nine hours of time in college. Did you use yes. to do anything in the college hours regarding gate sir, anything like revision or anything? I wanted to do, but sir, I was not like uh, able to do so. I okay. wish to. I was th- I w- I had planned that I will do whenever I will get time in the, my college during maybe lunch or break one hour of right. revision will be more than sufficient. But yes, I was not able because sir, we. Because there are friends and we need to be like, it's very hard to focus during college because <laughs> we had friends and we talk with each other. So it's hard. It was hard to come focus at that time. Why you choose yes, study only yes. from eight to twelve or eight to one? Yes, I can understand. Yes, so yes, exergic ke baare mein tumhe kaise pata chala? How did so, you get to know sir, about exergic? Uh, sir, in my twenty twenty uh, twenty twenty two attempt, that was I started my preparation in my second year, uh, like ending of the second year. I started my preparation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so at that time I didn't know about exergic. So my friend Shivam, he he had joined exergic. He's he's like he's my college mate. He's my colleague. So yeah. he had joined exergic. I was not aware about exergic at that time. So I joined a local institute. Yeah. Uh, so that like I was three months into my preparation, and then Shivam told me that see this is exergic and this is how they teach and this is how they plan. So I said like how can you study online? Like we knew that. In COVID, we had uh, we had our online lectures, like in college. No one used to study a lot in those that's lectures. That's so I was like, "How would you study online? Like, it's <laughs> very hard to manage online. How would you ask questions? How do you ask doubts? Right. How do you, like how do you manage that?" So it was. Right. I said that I don't think exercise will be good. So right. then the preparation went on for one year. I said the problem was that, uh, like in December ending, my uh, my lectures, like my complete entire course was completed in the December ending. And in February yeah. we had the exams, so I could not get more time to prepare actually during because yeah. it was along with college plus in the December ending we actually finished our last term lecture on yeah. the theory of machines we finished our last lecture in the ending of December. So yeah. I had only one month to prepare complete all the yeah. entire subjects each and so it was not sufficient for me. So the next year I decided to let us let me try exergy for once. Yeah. So I enrolled in exergy pro to enhance my question solving problems strategies. Yeah. So yeah. I used enrolled and sir, I found your lectures very like where they were very like up to the beyond par. I would say, like I found it very interesting that the questions I was explaining some in fluid mechanics, the questions were absolutely excellent. Sir. So that helped me a lot. That made my thinking level to that like enhanced my thinking level to such level that I could uh, like solve problems which were beyond gate, like which were actually tougher than the gate problems, which was very helpful to me in the in that way, sir. And then she um like then I regretted like okay. I should have done this one year earlier, right? So I could get <laughs> even like the lectures would be completed earlier. I could get more time to prepare. So I thought, and so so that's how like I found next subject. Understood. understood, understood, understood. Uh, Nihar, uh, clearly okay. you were very focused on uh, since initial uh, years only. You were very focused on being good in numericals, right? So the selection yes. of your course, the attempt that you made, everything were focused towards numericals. So, how did you ensure that whatever you were learning numerically stayed with you? Because there are so many thousands of concepts, numerical concepts also. Yes. How did you ensure that uh, they stayed with you and you kept on improving? So, sir, I used to keep a short notes book, like short notes and concept numerical concepts. So, especially in for subjects like SOM, TOM, uh, maybe machine design subjects which are actually numerical oriented, not manufacturing based subjects, but which are actually numerical oriented subjects. Uh, right. uh, SOM, DOM, thermo, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, so on. So I used to keep a, a short notes book, a, a book with me which contained all the short notes and along with that I used to write my numerical concept. So if I learned something new in one of these equations, I used to take a screenshot of that question and used to write or used to write that question and then used to saw or like used to uh, create a method like Okay, this is the question. If this kind of questions asked, this is the data given, then you should yeah. apply this technique to solve this type of questions. So as to keep that uh, notebook for each and every subject, or a few pages did not do it for each and every subject. So that helped yeah. me like to grasp all the concepts, and I used to revise that. Like during the ending, like in January, like from mid January, I used to uh, not solve much because there was nothing to solve. Like only test series was there, only the full length questions, but. Uh, 
like in my free time i used to revise those all the concepts like which were which i learned throughout the year all the numericals which all the variety of numericals like if you see in sum there is a variety and beyond yeah. the variety there is no other question that is left or the question has some in, uh, input data given and there is some a proper method to follow and there is an output data so as to generalize yes. those methods so that helped okay. me like a lot so that's how i Correct. did that's a very interesting take uh, towards uh, improving your uh, numerical solving if you compare your attempt of gate 2022 and 2023 definitely the level of exam also was slightly different 2022 had yes, slightly uh, different type of questions which usually are not yes. there so how was your kriya's experience how would you compare that experience of gate 22 and 23 so it was a lot different sir, because in if you see 2022 numericals were a bit tougher in 2023 they were a bit easier but uh, a bit like variety of questions were there in 2023 yes. compared yes, to yes. 2022 so sir uh, in 2022 sir the problem was like i could not solve many of the questions like i had yeah. not cleared concepts i had not like studied hard for those time so sir i could not solve most of the questions so it was like uh, i used to solve try a question for 10 minutes still i couldn't solve in my 2022 attempt yeah. so yeah. that was like very very bad attempt for me So in 2023, sir, the good thing was that I used to know, like, because I cleared all the concepts, I covered all the concepts, so I used to know almost all the concepts. Yeah, so with yeah. these questions, I could, I was, I was guaranteed that I was sure that, of course, I will be able to solve the question. Maybe it will take more time, but I will be able to solve the question. So that helped me, like that uh, made me confident that okay, if a question or a tough question comes, then I will be able to solve the question. So I used to attempt each and every question. It, it might be wrong, it may get wrong, maybe it's a concept clarity or maybe a numerical mistake. that could happen but i was sure that i would, I would be able to attempt each and every question so as to attempt each and in my 2023 attempt i attempted almost all the questions uh, except a few which were like i could not solve i almost attempted all the questions and even uh, there are i have even i have done some silly mistakes like in certain numericals which were very obvious but i still did some mistakes so but still i used to like uh, because i attempted all the questions i even if i did silly mistakes that was covered up in some way because i attempted yes. most of them so that helped me uh, a score good because uh, yeah. once you have actually prepared that's the benefit of uh, another indirect benefit of preparation that yes, you sir. get confidence that shall if anything comes i'll be able to do it and generally such questions which are slightly complicated or slightly tricky they are in you know msq or maybe net most probably yes, sir, yes. so in net anyway you can give it an attempt right because there is no negative marking yes. so negative marking, yes. whatever best you can do there you should attempt it obviously someone do not get any miss uh, i uh, any wrong idea from mihar's statement and started uh, trying even the questions of mcq that he don't know you should not do that oh, but sir. yes since major tricky question are i have, i have seen is in nat only so yes. that's why definitely you should give it a try based upon what best you know right and preparing so it was uh, yeah. it was like sir because i had solved so many questions like i had solved mm-hmm. a lot of numericals So that was that made me confident that even if a difficult or even if a tricky numerical comes, like I can give it in a time. It may not be true. It may not be. It may not get right. But yes, I was confident that if I give attempt, maybe there is a higher chance that I will get it correct. So that's yes, why I attempt, attempted most of the questions. Yes, yes, very good. So definitely, there is a positive mindset that you had regarding yes, uh, your uh, you know overall preparation and your overall attempt. Uh, and you are yes, preparing with college definitely. is uh, as we discussed is something which many students try but at the same time many students are not able to do so any uh, final tips you want to give to the students especially those who are in college and preparing for gate any tip related to the mindset related to the preparation strategy related to the time tables so i would uh, to them i would say that keep pursuing like it's it's going to be tough but that's what the reality is it's tough but if you crack it's like a golden like opportunity you get a lot of opportunities it will be like a golden chance to pursue something higher it's going to be tough but i think sir it's possible if i can yeah. do it anyone can do it sir i think it's possible but it's going to be tough no doubt it's going to be tough but it is possible that's what i would say that it's not impossible yes, so something that many of that many of students have done during their college years they have cracked gate and that's yeah, possible yeah. it's possible, correct correct mindset yeah, right. you, you are saying is very important have a positive mindset yes, that sir. it is but, going to happen it may be challenging but you must not give up acha one uh, question just came to my mind 
college yes, uh, wise college studies wise academics wise were you a very bright student or a normal student average student so i was uh, above average i would say not very bright above i average. was above average above so, average good good so being in uh, because it's also one, one of the things that i have seen that since you spent your day in college then you came back and then after dinner you are spending 4 or 5 hours on a regular basis so that requires the ability to sit through the studies right they should have the determination and patience so obviously uh, in the initial days it can be slightly challenging That's for right. the students right they are not able to sit even for one hour one and a half hour but you have to keep pursuing it did you also face such challenges in the initial yes, days yes sir in my yes sir in my beginning sir i was not able to do so so like uh, as i said sir but saturday sunday there was off we had no college it was off So on the weekends, I used to clear all my backlog. So I had decided that I need to solve final problems of this subject. Then no matter what, like even if I have to uh, like go through the night, I would have to complete these subjects, these numericals. So that was my mindset. And initially, it was hard to like follow that timetable. But sir, like over the period, I got used to it. So that helped me. Yes, and the student, the student, got it. It was very great, Mihar, talking to you, knowing your journey, and as I told you. it is very good to see that you have a very clear idea in your mind what you want isc cds right so very good yes, uh, my best wishes for your uh, future journey ahead and uh, congratulations once again thank you sir thank you